Okay, let's get started. The first line, we only have the left hand. That's so easy. Let's figure out what the notes are. The first note is this low D down here at the bottom of the piano. Make sure you're down here at this low D and not up here, nearer to middle C. You wanna be nice and low. That'll give it such a cool sound. So we have D with the left hand here, and then A with your first finger. Let's try out this first line. You can do it. It goes like this. Five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one. Now you give it a try. Great. The great thing about the left hand on this piece is that it has a lot of repeated notes, and you mostly only use your fifth and first finger. Let's take a look at the next line. Let's do the left hand first. You stay in the same position right here for the first three measures, and then for the fourth measure, you get to jump up right here with F in your fifth finger and C with your first finger. Let's try it. It goes like this. Five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, five, one, jump, five, one, five, one. Can you do that jump? Try it. Excellent. Let's try the right hand. The right hand will be right here, just one octave higher than the left hand. The right hand will start on the same note, D, that your left hand started with. Here's what the first measure sounds like. With fingers one, two, three, four, five, three, five. Try that part. Great. Let's look at the second measure now. This is the tricky part because we have to have your fourth finger on G sharp and your second finger on E. Let's do the first half. It goes like this. G sharp, E, G sharp. Don't forget that it stays sharp in the same measure after you have a sharp. Then the second part of the measure goes like this. G natural, and then E flat, and then G natural again. Remember, for this whole measure, we're only using fingers four and two. The whole measure goes like this. G sharp, E, G sharp, G natural, E flat, G natural. Now you try that. Great. Now let's do the first two measures of this line all together. Here's how they go. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, four, two, four, four, two, four. Try that all together. Awesome. Let's look at the last two measures of this line. Your right hand starts in the same spot as what it was before, on that D with your thumb. But then you have to scoot up to get into this hand position. You'll have your thumb now on F, and then your second finger on A. Don't forget to make that stretch right there. Here's how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, scrunch. One, two, five, four, two, one, two, four. Now you try that. Great. Let's do the whole line all together, just with the right hand for now. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, four, two, four, switch, four, two, four, 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five, four, two. One, two, four. Try that all together now. You're sounding good. Let's do hands together. Go slow at first, because this might be a little tricky to put your hands together with the eighth notes in the right hand and the quarter notes with the left hand. Here's how it goes. You try that now. Excellent! Good news! The next line is the exact same as what you just learned. How great is that? So we'll move on to the following line. Your left hand now is in a new position. We have A and E with your fifth and first fingers. The whole line goes like this. Five, one, 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 five, one. Could that be any easier? You do it now. Okay, let's do the right hand now. The right hand gets a little tricky. Instead of our B flat that we normally have because of the B flat in the key signature, it is a natural this time. So make sure you put your second finger on the B natural. Here's how the first measure goes. Don't forget about that C sharp right here with your third finger. Get that all ready to go before you start. One, two, three, four, five, three, five like that. You try it. Excellent. Now let's do the next measure. You're going to actually stretch your fifth finger out here to get to this F. So it will be five, three, five, five, three, five. Did you notice how I stretched for the F and then went back down for the E? You give that a shot. Great. Let's do both measures together. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, five, three, five, five, three, five. Now it's your turn. Excellent. The next two measures are a lot similar, so let's do them both together. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, five, three, five, and then back down for your half note right here with your fifth finger, like that. Give that a try, and then we'll do the whole line all together. Excellent. Okay, here's the whole line all together. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, five, three, five, five, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, five, three, five, half note. Now it's your turn again. Nice. You're doing great. Now we've been taking our time through these couple of lines because they repeat, and so we want to make sure that we really learn them very well. So the next line 
is just the same as what we just did. So we'll continue on to the next line. Now this line is very similar to what we had at the beginning, but instead of your right hand being down here, your right hand's actually up here now, which gives it a different sound. So we're just gonna go through this line all together. Now you try that. Great. Good news again, the next line is just the same as what we did. So let's focus on the next line. This one has a lot of interesting things in it. Your left hand comes back down here to that low D. And then your right hand gets a really cool chord. Let's figure it out. Your thumb will be on F, your second finger will be on G sharp, and your fifth finger will be on D right here. And there's an accent. That's the little arrow that's pointing to the right. That means to play it extra loud, like this. If you can do that while you practice, you should. Okay, let's do the first two measures. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you try that. Make sure you get your right hand in the right position before you start. Great. Now let's look at the next two measures. Measure three and four of this line. Left hand is in the same spot, but it breaks its pattern a little bit. So let's try to figure out what it does. We have your D right here and the A up here to start. Let's try it. D, A, D, A, 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 half note. Can you try that? Great. Not too hard, huh? Okay, let's do the right hand. The right hand is a little tricky here because you have a couple of scrunchy things that you have to do and then a nice stretch up here to this C sharp. So let's try it. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five. Scrunch for your first finger down here on F. One, and then stretch for second finger. Two, five, and then scrunch your third finger up here on this C sharp right here. Three, one, three, keep it sharp. Five, and then four and one. You gotta stretch out your thumb to get down to this F right here. Let's look at that again. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, five, three, one, three, five, four and one. You try that. Great. Let's do hands together on those last two measures. It'll sound like this. Now you try that. Okay, let's try that whole line all together. Make sure you take it nice and slow and get your right hand in the right position before you start so you're all ready to go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now it's your turn. Awesome. The very last line is just the same as the line we had before. It looks a little different because that right hand has some extra high notes, but guess what? It's just one octave higher than what you've had before. So let's check it out. It goes like this. You 
you try that, just one octave higher with the right hand. Amazing! You're doing so great! Here's a demonstration of the whole song. Now, remember, you may need to go a little slower at first while you're learning it. I'm going to play it allegro, which means fast. <laughs> 